I had asked in my last haul video whether or not you guys wanted to see a video on the Juvia's Place Pals, kind of like a swatch fest, and I got a bunch of comments saying that you did, so I thought I might as well go ahead and do that on this fine Sunday afternoon. <laughs> and it's pretty warm outside today, like in the 40s, so I was kind of feeling springy, and I did do a demo with, I used two palettes in this look that I have on my eyes, this pink one, which is the Masquerade, and then the uh, Nubian palette is what I used on my eyes today. Um, and there will be a demo for that towards the end of the video if you are interested in it. To talk a little bit about the eyeshadow formula before I go ahead and jump into the swatches, um, these are really great, affordable, super pigmented eyeshadow palettes. The packaging on them is a heavy duty cardboard with a magnetic closure, which um, I don't mind. Let's see, I don't think there is a mirror in any of the eyeshadow palettes. I just double checked and there isn't a mirror in there, there's just this graphic is on the inside where kind of a mirror would be. But um, the formula of the eyeshadows varies, like the um, ingredients list on all four of them is is slightly different. Either an ingredient is present where other palette, where in another palette it's not and vice versa type of situation. I kind of did a comparison across all four and uh, somebody left a comment saying that uh, one of the palettes did have parabens in it and so I did go ahead and look that up and that's the Masquerade palette. And then oddly enough the one that has the parabens is the one out of the four that doesn't contain mineral oil. And I mean mineral oil isn't, it's not like a huge, um, in fact I know some people are really against mineral oil, but um, when it comes to eyeshadows a lot of companies have overdone the mineral oil where when it gets to that point, like, like I know BH has changed, BH Cosmetics has changed up their formulas. Um, so the current ones I've noticed don't have mineral oil in them. They've turned to that dimethicone, which I feel is a lot better ingredient. But their older shadows had a lot of mineral oil in it, and that made it really difficult to pick up the shadows. I know um, Makeup Revolution, they do a lot of eyeshadow palettes, and their formula is also really full of mineral oil, and it kind of dilutes the pigment. In those formulas, it dilutes the pigment and also makes it hard to pick up on a brush. I found I find that Juvia's Place did a really good job with their formula in terms of incorporating that mineral oil into them. Um, they pick up on a brush really nice, they blend really nice. Now if you have oily eyelids, you're going to want to use a really good um, uh, primer that's going to hold your shadow in place because mineral oil has a tendency to melt when it's on the skin. And I have dry eyelids, so um, I don't have that big of a problem with it when I use something like the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion which is one of a, a base that I will use if I really want my eyeshadows to stay crisp all day. Um, if I were to use some of my favorite primers like the, the Lily Lolo one that I just got and also the NYX one, um, those are too emollient to use with like these shadows with the mineral oil because they they tend to melt relatively quickly on the eyes and kind of fade to, and you'll get a shine even if you had a matte eyeshadow there because the mineral oil in there is starting to kind of melt on the skin. And that being said, while this Masquerade palette doesn't have mineral oil in it and then the formula across all three of them has got some different variances between the four, um, I still find that the mattes across all four palettes and also the shimmer shades across all four palettes are relatively the same. I feel like they function the same and they blend the same, they go on the same. And something that I really notice about, uh, these also have kaolin clay in them, um, and the kaolin clay mineral oil formula has this distinct smell and you can kind of smell it when you open up the palette. And generally I associate that smell with a cheaper um, eyeshadow, a cheaper formula that usually doesn't perform well. And while that does have that smell, I feel like these are on the opposite end of the spectrum. Again, Juvia's Place did a really good job utilizing those ingredients in their formula because they, they pick up on a brush nice, they blend and they build really well. I just do recommend um, using a, a nice solid base, like even I, I can't use my hydrating base on my dry eyes with these, or they will melt. And again, this is one of the best mineral oil, cal and clay type formulas that I've ever worked with. Um, I think that they're definitely worth the price. These larger pans uh, that you get in the Nubian 2 and the Masquerade palette, um, you'll see a little bit up closer uh, the size of the pans, but these ones right here are about 0.12 ounces a piece, which is a huge amount of product. That's another thing to take into consideration um, with especially these two. You're getting a ton of product for the money in there. And then these smaller pans are just about over 0.05 ounces a piece, which is still a nice amount of product. Um, the price kind of varies because they're running sales quite a bit. And I know um, there's a, a bunch of like coupon codes. I think they're just 10% off, but you know, something is better than nothing. <laughs> so the price varies and they also have a bundle, I think, of three of the eyeshadow 
palettes, but individually, I think they're either between $20 and $30, which is a really affordable price for what you're getting in terms of the uh, pigmentation, the ease of use, and the amount of product that you're getting. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom up close and give you guys some swatches of all four of the palettes so you can see the intensity of them all. <laughs> so this first one is the Nubian palette. And the, the back doesn't have any of the writing or anything like that on there. Um, but the inside has got the same graphic that's on the cover, and then you have got your eyeshadows in here. Um, this is the only one that doesn't have the names, like a name printed on the packaging. But for matte shades, you've got one, two, cat hair, <laughs> three, four. There are four matte eyeshadows in this particular palette. There is the first row, and then the second row. And then the last row. This is a matte too. Yeah, that's four. Yeah, there's four mats in there. So that is the Nubian eyeshadow palette. The next palette is the Saharan, and this is their latest launch. And I guess to say, I kind of think that this one might be my favorite. I like the odd, so there's kind of some odd colors in here. <laughs> we'll start off with the first row. Should I show you, tell you guys which ones are matte? I'll do that in just a moment. So there's the first row. The matte eyeshadows in here are Sokoto, Jamila, Katsina, and Chad. So there are four mattes in this one as well. And then the second row. This color here, it's a really pretty shade, but I, like when I first looked at the palette, it was the one where I thought, that just looks out of place. <laughs> it has like a bluish duochrome to it. It's a pretty color though. There's the second row, and then the last row. There's the last row. So there is the Saharan, Saharan palette. And then we've got the Nubian 2 palette, and these ones are the larger eyeshadow pans that are about 0.12, which is, this is just an astronomical amount of product. So for mattes, you've got Morocco, Madagascar, Jezebel, and Kenya. Four mattes in this one as well. The second row. Such intense pigmentation on these shadows, man. Ooh. There's the second row, and then the last row. Some of these um, shadows across all f all four of these palettes are heavier, like they're like a heavier um, consistency than others. And there's some that are heavy, and some that are a little bit lighter in each palette too. So there is the last row. That one is the Nubian 2? Yes.
yes. <laughs> the new bead too. And then lastly is the Masquerade palette. And I believe this comes in a smaller version as well. This is the big one. And this is the palette that's got 16 eyeshadows opposed to the others which only have 12. And this is the guy I used these two shades on my lid in today's look. Um, but for mattes in here you've got Zobo, Burkina, Zulu, and Oada and Fulani. So you've got five mattes in this one. Um, the shade Bori, this pink over here, has got gold sparkle through it, but the base is kind of that matte base, but it's got the gold sparkles throughout it. So let's go ahead and swatch. These shades are like, these are like boom <laughs> color. <laughs> oh gosh, aren't they so beautiful? They're just so pretty. There is the first row. Isn't that crazy? And then the second row. I'll have to do only eight on arm because I don't think I can go um, much lower than 12 eyeshadows on there. So you can see there's kind of a matte base in that pink, but those are, that's the second row. And then the first row, and then the third row. This is also kind of a matte with the sparkles in it, much like this shade up here. This orange with gold sparkle. Let's go white. And then the last row. So there are the last two rows in the Masquerade palette. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I do have the box for the Saharan palette. This is the only box I have. Um, and it does say on the back that this is made in PRC, which um, is the People's Republic of China. And then too, I'm also going to link uh, Stephanie Nicole's Juvia's Place video down below because she does do brush swatches. Um, I think she did three of the palettes, if memory serves me correctly, but maybe you guys will find that helpful as well. I almost forgot, when I did use this shade Sok Sokoto, it was this shade right here, um, I did get some staining on my eyelids. Um, and some of the more redder shades and the really blue ones, there is a slight ten tendency to stain depending on kind of your eyeshadow base situation. So that is something to make note of. And also there is a teeny bit of fallout with some of the matte shades. So with that being said, if you're interested in seeing the look that I have with my eyes right now and kind of how I got it, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion for my lash line to up underneath the brow. I'm not going to use my super hydrating bases because these have mineral oil in them and they tend to, to melt relatively quickly otherwise. So I'm just going to prime these eyeballs. I really want to go bright today. It's kind of nice outside. I'm feeling kind of springy. <laughs> so I'm going to go into, I feel like this is the brightest shade out of all four palettes. And this is the Masquerade palette. And the shade I'm going to go into is Molly, which is that green shade. And I'm going to use, this is just a flat shader from Hakuhoto. And I'm going to start right, I'm going to go above like where my crease is at. And bring it up uh, higher than um, the crease. I just said that. Yeah. I'm going to use the side of that same brush and go into the shade Giza, which is like a light champagne color. I'm going to put it in front of that green and buff it into the, or blend it into the green. Same brush again. I'm going to go into the shade Zola. These are all shimmery shades, by the way. And I'm going to pack that on the rest of the lid. My eyeliner will cover up a bit of that, but I always like to have something on the top of that primer. I'm going to blend it into that green a bit, too. It'll peek through just a bit. Then I'm going to use a Chicago GSN 9 brush, and I'm going to go into the shade Zobo. 
which it's like a plummy purple. It's one of the mattes. So this would be like the, the first matte that I'm using. I'm just going to put it out here. That actually goes on, um, goes on a lot more pink than it looks in the pan. And I've got some fallout with that guy, so I'm going to brush it off right away. And then I'm going to dive into the Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to pick up this orange shade. It's called Morocco. I'm going to use that on a Hakuhoto J5523 brush. I'm going to start buffing out that pinky purple. I don't know how this is going to end up, but <laughs> I was trying to find like a, a good shade to blend in with that, that purple color. And this just looked like the best suit out of um, what I got in front of me, the palettes here. That actually worked out good. There really isn't a matte highlight shade in any of these eyeshadow palettes, so I'm going to go into the... Nubian. And this palette doesn't have names, but I'm going to go into the lightest shade in this palette. And I'm going to use that underneath the brow. I was kind of wishing for a, um, a matte, you know, lighter highlight, but there isn't one. And this shade here has like a pink duochrome to it. So it kind of fits up there. Anyway, from that same palette, I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is matte. And I'm going to use that same Hot Kahoto G5523 brush. And I'm going to buff it higher up here. I feel like this is really masquerade <laughs> So there's the eyeshadow done with the Nubian palettes. I do want to kind of spice up that lid and make it like really shiny so I'm going to do a little something extra here but I want you to see what it looks like with, before I do any of that and then you're probably going to get some glare off the lights because I have shimmery stuff up there on a pretty bulgy hooded lid so I'm going to use this Estee Edit Fluid Metal Eyeshadow and this is an O2 Got It Bad because um, it's not it's not as thick as the um, Stila shadows and I'm going to use like a green glitter I'm going to put some of that on my hand here and then I'm going to dab it on with my finger. And then working relatively quickly, I've got Makeup Geek's uh, Sparkler and Supernova right here. I'm going to pat that over the top of that um, Estee Lauder shadow that I put down. I really like the dimension of that. Um, I really like these sparklers from Makeup Geek. Like They're super pretty, but they are one of the messiest products. That really added like a 3D dimension type of situation to the lid, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. And for the most exciting lip ever, <laughs> I've got Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this guy. Look at, look at. <laughs> it's so short. And then to fill them in, I've got Charlotte Tilbury's uh, lipstick in Valentine. I was actually looking for Cream Cup, which is grew legs and walked away or something, but... <laughs> this is a really nice lipstick too, though. And there's the overall finished look using some Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.